I've got a bit of a problem. It's a basement problem. So today, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull all this stuff out of here, and I'm going to put a drop ceiling in. And we'll talk about that in a minute. We got a lot of sticks. We've got brooms. We've got mops. We've got rakes. We've got all kinds of things that I stuff up in the rafters up here. We get to our destination, and it's all... Well, it doesn't look like this, but a lot of things are down. What we're going to be doing here today is taking everything out of here so I can work pretty easily. And I'm going to put a drop wire ceiling in. I'm using a high loft system for the anchors that will come down and put a wire rack in there. It's going to be about 23 inches wide and about 8 inches down. So 8 inches is going to come down to right about here. So it's going to give me some room to still access my boxes here. These are, this is the highest one, but it's going to, I believe, free up a lot of space that has just been wasted. I actually saw this on the Van Lee Decor Facebook page. There's no video of it. It was just some pictures of what they had done. And so we wanted to share with you what we're going to do using the same types of materials that they did. So stay tuned. I'm going to start taking all this apart, and then we'll go through the building back process. out of the rafters we've taken everything out of here a couple things I've left just because I know it's not getting in my way figured while we were doing all this we give it a quick vacuum as well the next step here is I'm gonna be using these rafters as my anchors so I'm gonna go cut a couple pieces so that I can get my drop figured out here and then we'll start to attach them up here to the rafters and we'll see how it goes as I mentioned I've got to cut these down because as you can see if I stick them here I'm going to be way down here so I want to be about six inches cutting into this once I do that this piece here about another one and a half inches from where I'm going to cut to the bottom of this so it's really going to be about eight inches you know give or take so I'm going to cut six and a half here I got another one and a half just from this extension but I'm also going to have to cut this piece I'm going to be way up into this area. I'm going to have to cut this somewhere down here, and then I'm going to have to drill a couple holes so that I can secure it here. So that's basically what I'll be doing next. I'm going to be using a hacksaw to cut through the metal here, and then I have a 3 16th drill bit that I'll use to drill through and uh, create my holes to get this lined up here. I just cut my first piece here to where I wanted to. It actually came out to six and a quarter. I mentioned six and a half earlier. And then I'm going to be cutting this so that I can probably cut this somewhere in this range here. So I know it's going to settle into that area roughly right there. So if I cut here, I can make a couple pilot holes so I can get my brackets through there. I've cut these down to the size that I wanted, so one of the things I'm going to do now is I'm going to be drilling the holes as I put this together. I want to make sure that, again, I can put a couple bolts through each one of these, so I'm just going to tap a couple holes in here. Got everything cut. Four of these cut here. Drill the holes the way I needed them to so I can anchor them through here. What I'm going to do next is the space that we have to work with is about 48 inches wide. To kind of make things centered, I'm going to come 12 and a half inches off this wall here for my first anchors on both sides. And I'm going to come up to these beams up here. It will be my, my uh, rafters, so to speak. And it'll look, uh, once you see it, it'll look somewhat like this. And then we'll put the other ones on the back side, slide the rack in. We should be good to go. I'm getting ready to hang my anchors from my rafter up here. One of the purchases I've made were these are 3 16th toggle bolts, 2 inches, along with a 7 16th drill bit. So it looks huge, but you've got to be able to get these 
little flanges up into the hole. So I've got a bunch of these. I'm going to drill my hole, insert one, and then uh, we should be able to quickly put this back together. It doesn't look like it, but I'm about halfway done. Uh, I've got both of these secured into the rafters with my toggles. I'm putting on uh, these pieces here. I need to get kind of a measurement to where I'm going to come out to uh, for the next drop somewhere over here. So I've got my pieces with me and I think I'm, you know, like I said, about halfway done. I'm now about three quarters of the way done. Uh, I just finished this bracket here. Uh, this is on the driver's side of the rig. It's secure. So now I'm just going to finish off this side here and then I'll be able to lay in the wire rack, zip tie it down, and we're done. Got everything in, fold it down, tightened. I'm going to put the wire racks up now. I've got some zip ties that I'm going to use just to kind of tie things off on these corners and then in between here. All in all, you know, maybe two and a half, three hours from you know, just actual work time. It sounds like a lot. The biggest thing was just cutting the pieces to fit the way I needed them to. So I had, you know, again, I've got about eight inches dropped from the ceiling to exactly where I wanted it. I think it turned out pretty good. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Right now, I have zip tied the corners, the middle. So I've zip tied everything. So this thing is really solid. Rock solid. I'm really excited about this. Be a game changer, I don't know, but it's certainly a space mod. saver utilizing space that we haven't been. We talked about what we're going to put up here, and it's the sticks, it's stuff that I've been stuffing up in the rafters and it's been falling all over. So, this is its new home. Put those up there. Yeah, we'll be able to actually reach the stuff too, it won't be right. Sometimes it's so hard to reach. I think we'll be able to put other things up there too. Oh, no question. Our project's complete. We've put everything back into our basement here. If you remember at the beginning of this video, it looked like a tornado. Uh, we've got it really well organized now. And like I said, the uh, drop down ceiling has worked out. We've got all our stuff up there that I wanted to kind of get away. Um, so that's great. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you have any comments or questions about what I've done, please feel free to use the comment section below and be happy to get back to you on that.